Hey guys, I decided to redo my tutorial from this morning in English for my English speaking friends. So what I want to show you is um, a tutorial with two examples for using layer masks. I use layer masks in every single image I edit. Um, so these are only two examples. Yeah, how you can use it. Uh, the first one is this image. You see, um, I took a snapshot with uh, shadows. There you see all the shadows, even here. And then I took a snapshot without any shadow. I did that because sometimes I don't like how the shadow comes out. For example, here I don't like this one. Or here in the neck part. Or sometimes it's too sharp for me. <clears throat> and um, yeah, to make it easier for me to edit this image, I took another snapshot without any shadows and by using layer mask, I can fix what I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I open this one, then I hit, I open the other one and put it on top of this layer. Press file. This uh, 45. And now I create a layer mask by hitting this small little icon. Make sure this layer mask is uh, selected. Then I use a brush and I paint in black. Let me increase the opacity a bit. All right. And then I just paint over the parts I don't like. For example, this shadow I don't like. And I paint over it and then it's gone. I don't use the eraser tool because, for example, this one, now I erased it in total. And when I switch back to um, white, I can get it back. And when I lower the opacity, I can make this shadow over here a little bit more blurry. And this one. And here, next to the cup. So I want to show the item of the creator um, without the shadow. Or not too much shadow. So everybody can see there's a spoon laying next to the cup. Um, and the second example is this one. I use two different wind lights. I love this one because the this lightning comes out very pretty. Um, but I cannot see the hair really in detail. So I love this one as well. So let's put these two together. So I open this one and lay it over this one. And now I decided to lay it under it. <laughs> I create a layer mask. Make sure this one is selected. Choose a brush and pleck. And you see these sharps, sharp endings of the lightning. And when I paint over it, I get it softer and I can see more of the face. So basically, you, you make the layer underneath visible by painting black on the layer mask. Let me increase it, paste it a bit. So now I can make the red light of the other image better showing. Okay, um, I, I won't uh, finish 
this image in my tutorial, but you get an idea what I am talking about and I hope you can understand what I was talking and my explanation wasn't too bad and yeah, I see you guys. Bye.